Chef Mark, tip of the day. Butternut squash can be a challenge to get through because it's, you know, it's large, it's kind of chunky, it's a bit of shaping, and the skin's really tough. Some people use a vegetable peeler, and I find that you've got to go really deep to get in down to the flesh, and it takes a while, and you know, you can cut yourself on a peeler quite easily. So my recommendation is to use good old-fashioned chef knife. Of course, I hold my knife with the pinch grip, three fingers holding the knife with my middle finger all the way up against the bolster. So that's the correct way to hold a knife. I'm going to go ahead and cut off top and bottom, and I like to hold this kind of level, so when I stand it up, it's relatively level. And then I'm going to separate the stem from the bell. The bell, you'll see here, is the part that possesses the seeds, okay? Then what I like to do is, using my knife, I'm going to peel my butternut squash utilizing my chef knife. You can go pretty deep. You don't have to go so thin that you end up not removing all the skin, it'll be a little bitter in there. Okay, so there we go. It's relatively easy to clean up this way as well as opposed to using a vegetable peeler. And then I'm going to dice and roast this for butternut squash ravioli. So I just make panels and then I take my panels and I can stack them, chop lengthwise. Like so, and then I've got a nice dice of butternut squash. I'll finish that one later. And then for my bell here, I just come around. When I'm peeling, I just kind of follow the curvature. That's why I like to separate the top from the bottom. Normally I would keep this hole, I wouldn't cut it in half first. But now I would cut it in half, and then I can scrape the seeds out. I just take a relatively small spoon, I can get in there, and dig the seeds out kind of like a cantaloupe. And then once I've de-seeded it, I go ahead and dice it in the same manner that I diced the top part. There you go. Chef Mark, tip of the day.